I've had a lot of supportive messages from people and I really appreciate them. But I also wanted everyone to know that there's totally nothing to worry about if you're worried about me getting, you know, criticized and attacked and threatened and I want you to know that I've actually got that for my whole nearly my whole nearly my whole activist journey. But it really started to pump. Um, from when I started getting media, media attention, that's when you know you're, me you're reaching the mainstream. So this is good. It's good. <laughs> and I actually uh, understand why it's good. So, and also I've got a very, very thick skin, like from, from doing this for the, the time I've been doing it. And also threats don't actually scare me. Um, I've been threatened before <laughs> by some pretty scary people. <laughs> And I took those seriously, but, but when people say it over the internet on public pages, it's not smart and it doesn't really, it doesn't really get to me. So don't worry about that. And I'm totally, so, I'm so used to this. I'm a, I'm a public figure who's beginning to reach the mainstream or last year was totally reached the mainstream. <laughs> Tens of millions of people um, it were exposed to who I am or the media's portrayal of who they think I am. <laughs> but um, so I'm totally used to it. So thank you so much for your supportive messages and being there for me. It's so sweet and, and to know that I have such amazing support around me. And I do deeply want to send you all love from the bottom of my heart, straight from my heart to yours. And to all of those people who are threatening me or, or opposing my beliefs, I would be very careful about what you're actually opposing. <laughs> think about it. I'm defending baby calves, bobby calves, you know, mothers in the dairy industry. I'm defending them. You are opposed to me. So by virtue of your opposition, of my position, you are defending animal cruelty. Understand? Understand? That is my whole point. When you oppose my position, you defend animal cruelty. Violence, murder, animal slavery. Now, if it was me up here talking about Yulin Dog Festival, you'd be on Team Joey. You would be on Team Joey. Oh my God. But you're against Joey, which is a problem. Because, you know, you defend certain animals, but when it comes to bobby calves and mothers, mother cows in the dairy industry, or in animal agriculture, pigs, piglets, you just want them to suffer? Anyone who stands up uh, for their plight, you know, is an extreme terrorist and needs to get hit by a car. Anyway, you should have a long, hard think about that, mate, because that's coming from me, someone who was once a violent uh, gang member, who was once violent towards people, who once ate uh, animal products, which were a product of violence and slavery for years. Three times a day I was eating animal products. You know, I've hurt animals in the past. I've killed animals in the past, fishing and you know, so I, I've been on the other side of the fence and I, t and I woke up and I changed. I changed for the better. And I couldn't dream of hurting an animal. I don't, I don't have uh, premeditative thoughts of violence towards people anymore. It's just not me. Now you can have premeditated thoughts of violence towards me. I couldn't care less. Do it. Whatever makes you happy, mate. It's not going to stop anything. It's not going to stop anything and it's not going to make the world better. Like you attacking me violently isn't gonna change anything. It's not gonna stop me, unless you literally like take me off the earth. But even if you, you did that, like my, my video's already out there. My message is already out there. I've already said what I need to say a million times over. Be careful what you defend. And one day, that, like a point I made in my last live stream is like one day, a lot of these people are gonna look back at what they're saying and hang their head in shame as to the violence, slavery, and you know, environmental destruction of the earth they live on, they were, they were actually defending and supporting. Like, I, I have lots of regrets from my past. Lots of regrets. And they made me who I am today, right? But I would never say some of the things I used to say, act in the way I used to act, because I understand the knock-on effect of those actions and, and words. Now, I'm still not completely perfect, but I'm striving to be. Not perfect, but striving to be better. 
I mean, no one's ever going to be perfect, but, but, but understanding that the way you've acted in the past was, was, was regretful and that you want to change and then striving to be better is what we should all be doing. Not going, oh yeah, here's this guy who used to be in jail. Oh, let's just write off everything he's saying about animal violence. You know, attack him, shoot the messenger instead of like listening to his arguments and what he's saying and who he's trying to defend. Just completely write him off. This guy who's changed his life around and you know used to be a violent uh, gang member and he's very open about that. He has never, never hidden the fact that he went to prison and that he was, you know, caught with a firearm and you know was on drugs. Never hidden that fact from anyone. The media didn't find that out. I told everyone. The vegan movement didn't find that out. I've been open since day dot. There's, we've made documentaries about it. I've taken people to my neighborhood, shown people, told people. I'm very open about that. Now people think, oh yeah, tell people about your criminal past. Like it's, like it's something that I've hidden. It was part of my revolution. Now you could look at someone like who that, who's changed their life around and either condemn him right condemn me or go wow i'm glad you've turned your life around and you're doing something positive like because if i was in like say counseling for abuse victims or if i was you know anti child abuse which i 100% am anti child abuse 100% am but if that was the work that i did anti child abuse work right would you be condemning me so oh, it's just a prisoner he's an ex prisoner an ex gang member Run him over, kill him. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, you wouldn't. You'd be supporting my work and you'd be saying, wow, I'm so glad he's uh, got himself out of prison and now he speaks up for those innocent children that are abused. Okay? The problem is, if every single, nearly every single person I walk down the street and, and see are contributing to child abuse, I would be a child abuse activist. But it just so happens that every, nearly every single person I see walking down the street is contributing to the worst animal abuse on earth and they're unaware of it which is why I chose this fight which is why I chose this fight okay and if I ever seen anyone abusing a child guess what I would step in and probably use some violent force to stop them <laughs> okay because I, I would defend those children vehemently um, and so would most of the public <laughs> but because I speak up for animals oh he's got a criminal past he's an ex-drug addict kill him like whoa Whoa, what the hell is that all about, dude? What the hell is that all about, mate? Like I see suffering animals drowning in their own blood in a slaughterhouse and forgive me for speaking up against it. Forgive me, no, actually, no, <laughs> forgive me. I'm doing the right thing here, dude. It's absolutely crazy, this topsy-turvy, upside-down world of conditioned cultural um, carnism as Melanie Joy calls it, like just complete moral schizophrenia of complete hypocrisy, vilifying someone who's trying to do uh, good for innocent beings. Very, very interesting. Very interesting indeed, isn't it, guys? Anyways, I just wanted to change the, the vibe of my last stream. Sort of give you a little bit of like my thought patterns about this all. I'll let you know that it's just totally fine. I'm. Not affected at all by it. If anything, it's making me fight harder. Actually, it always it always does. When I get op opposed and I know that it's right in my heart, I will always fight harder. And you're not always gonna be like feeling amazing. You can wake up feeling a bit shit. That's okay. Not every day is gonna be amazing. Your message isn't always gonna be consistently amazing and you know, you're not gonna ever go through it. You're like, oh, that did that perfect every single time. But the point is we get back up and we keep trying. And we never give up. We never, ever give up. Okay? No matter what. You always keep going. And as long as there is breath in my lungs, as long as there is that energy running through my body and consciousness in my mind, I will use every ounce of that to fight for what I know is right and to defend little animals like this. At you. A little squirrel, look. Oh my God. Oh my God, he come for the live stream. He's like, yeah, Joey, thanks, mate. Little squirrels and little piglets. People love squirrels. So if they see me, you know, attack that squirrel and jump on that squirrel, bite into that squirrel and be like, and rip that squ squirrel to shreds. And they'd be like, what the hell are you doing, dude? That squirrel is adorable. 
And I'll be like, I'm a carnivore dude. Like, don't you know that? Look at my teeth. Look at my canines. See how sharp they are? You know what I mean? You'd just think that was absolutely ludicrous. Ludicrous. But you'd be like, Joey, you got a whole shopping bag full of vegan food there. Why did you kill that squirrel? And I'll be like, well, because they taste good, obviously. <laughs> obviously squirrels taste good. And then I'll be like, Joey, don't you know there's other options? And I'll be like, don't you know you're eating a piglet? And they'll be like, piglets are put here for us to eat. I'm a carnivore. Look at my teeth. How dare you judge me? You know, you went to prison. You know, you're an ex-drug addict. God, we should run you over. We should chuck you off a bridge. Bash his teeth down his throat. I'll be like, okay, but what about that thing with the squirrel? Oh, squirrels are amazing. You shouldn't harm squirrels. What about that carnivore thing? Oh no, that only applies to pigs, lambs, chickens, fish. Dogs though, no, don't you dare go carnivore on a dog. I love dogs. You know, anyone who hurts a dog, mate, ooh, throw them off a bridge, run them over, knock their teeth down their throat. What about pigs? Oh no, you went to jail, you knock it, sorry. <laughs> I could do that all day. I could do that all day and expose so many logical contradictions in majority of society's moral system. And, and they might still not even see it. But luckily, we have people who uh, can navigate through logic quite easily. They're mostly all the way there. They just need that, that push in the right direction, some compassion to be pulled out of their heart, and some lovely vegan alternatives. And they start to act consistently with their own moral beliefs. So their actions match their moral beliefs, okay? And that's all veganism is, and yeah. I love you all and thank you for your support. Doing absolutely fine, doing absolutely amazing. I'm about to go upstairs and work harder than I've ever worked before. <laughs> and together, we can change the world, okay? Much love and respect, speak to you soon. Hey, wit. I'm going to feed you my meat fist and smash your weak teeth down your throat if I see you anywhere. You're a pathetic, weak c and I hope violence finds you soon.